Good morning and welcome to today's presentation on an integrated web store, Acumatica and BigCommerce demo. My name is Will Jackman and I'm an Acumatica account executive here at Bakerfield Solutions. This is our third week of our four week series aiming to demonstrate best practices of an e-commerce business from end to end. Thank you so much for your time for attending this morning. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to type those into the Q&A and I will try to respond to those accordingly. Uh, and if we run out of time, I will follow up via email afterwards as we are trying to get through a lot of information in a relatively short amount of time today. Uh, and without further ado, let's begin. To recap last week, we took a look at some of the most prevalent trends in B2B and B2C uh, from omnichannel marketing and sales being increasingly more popular to people are still people and react emotionally um, that drive certain behaviors in their decision-making process. We took a look at how important it was to have a variety of payment options, as well as how critical it is to have um, shipping that is either on time or gets to a customer's doorstep as quickly as possible. From the Acumatica dashboard side of things, we took a look at how configurable um, dashboards can be based off each individual user's role and permissions that they have in their business. And then we ultimately took a look at some of the different Acumatica reporting capabilities that exist uh, that offer 250 different reports out of the box to help give greater insights to the leadership team of your business. On the agenda for today's presentation, we are going to take a look at the importance of having an integrated web store and some of the key benefits received. We will take a look at some of the different functionality that exists between Acumatic and Big Commerce and have an overview of that. And then we will finally have a case study that highlights a successful ERP implementation of a company with Acumatica and Big Commerce. One of the key benefits of having an integrated web store is that the, the customer experience will be improved. Um, customers will be in the loop for the whole entire sales process now, and they will have access to real-time data, um, such as automatic shipping notifications. And automatic shipping notifications have become really important because customers are most excited about a purchase immediately after making one. Um, so being able to give them real-time feedback as to where their packages are um, is, is absolutely critical to help foster loyalty to your business. Um, I was talking to a, a potential client this past week, and he was asking me about number two here, having greater controls and insights. And that was something that his business had kind of been struggling with. Uh, with Acumatica, something that you would receive in that regard is financial reports would be automated, which can save a significant amount of time for a multitude of employees in your business by not having to do manual uh, document creation every month. And then another benefit that you gain is seeing which items in inventory are actually um, high turnover and ones that are a little lower turnover and that and what altercations can be made to help in that area. One of the other key benefits of having an integrated web store is that operational costs can be reduced. Um, since we have a lot of those automation that exists, a lot of manual human errors can be removed from the equation that unfortunately do happen, um, even against our best intentions. And another thing that can be taken a look into account is the different inventory management expenses can be reduced. Um, you know, again, looking into your inventory and making sure that not too much is stocked on hand or too little of a certain particular item. Um, one of the other key benefits that, that you see from having an integrated web store is delivering a variety of shipping options to your customers. Uh, this has become absolutely essential as customers would love to have a wide selection in the, the checkout process. Uh, with Acumatica, you of course are able to have wide, deliver wide variety of options to your customers from leading shipping carrier integrations, such as FedEx, UPS, and USPS. Another benefit you will receive from having an integrated web store 
as this increased trust and visibility for customers, uh, they're able to see accurate information that is pertinent to them in real time and to be able to um, help get some more loyalty from that. Another Im very important element is offering these different omni-channel experiences, um, which has become paramount in this day and age. Uh, these true omni-channel experiences are helping leverage data from all your different channels that you communicate to your, your customers and um, helping drive those unique experiences to, to help foster brand loyalty to your, to your company. Um, Acumatica can help in this regard with superior fulfillment functionality, um, including being able to store customer contact information um, for any email marketing campaigns that may, you may have with native CRM capabilities in the system. One final point I would like to make is about custom pricing and how that has become an absolutely a requirement in the B2B world. Um, larger customers have now expect to be able to be offered custom pricing because of their high volume of orders that they have for your business. Uh, whereas lower customers that you know maybe make more infrequent orders or uh, less in size would, would be receiving you know maybe the status quo price or even a, a slight discount. But both of those would help foster loyalty again to your brand, which is so critical as B2B relationships are very long-term in nature. Now we're going to take a look at Acumatica and Big Commerce in action together. Um, Acumatica actually has a native connector to Big Commerce, and 100% of that connector actually resides in Acumatica. It utilizes a REST API technology to send and receive data from the ERP and the website itself. Um, so sales orders can be synced in real time, as well as um, any customer information, payment information, um, shipping, and so much more. All that data is communicated and pushed and pulled between the ERP and the website in real time. Um, so now we're going to take a look at um, getting onto our Acumatica dashboard itself. First thing we need to do is pull up a standard web browser as Acumatica is accessible from anywhere at any time on any device, as long as you have an internet connection. So once we have signed into our instance of Acumatica, we can see that there is now a commerce tab. Um, and so we're going to click on the commerce tab and that opens up this menu where I have a variety of options. But in this particular case, I want to click on the stores tab. And once I do that, it'll take me to this page. Um, and this is where I'm actually establishing the relationship between Acumatica and Big Commerce. So this is where I select the store name. Um, several, many, many Acumatica customers have a variety of stores. Um, you know, sometimes it can be from two to three. Uh, I was talking to a prospect earlier this week that was inquiring about 25 different stores, um, which is something that Acumatica can't handle, but that's a lot of stores. Um, and so we move further down and this, these REST API settings are actually uh, stored in BigCommerce themselves. So all you have to do is go into BigCommerce and copy and paste these into their respective fields. And once you have done that, you're actually able to test the connection. And once we have tested the connection and it goes through, we can actually see that our site would now be live. But now I'm going to switch over to the Entity Settings tab. Um, and this is where all my different data points are being pushed and pulled through the systems. Um, as you can see, I generally speaking, almost, you would have all of these different data points be enabled, but you can turn them off if a specific reason arises where that's important to you. Um, and on the right side here, you can see a column that is sync immediately, and that is in collaboration with the real-time sync. So in this particular example, I can have the real-time sync set up for sales orders, but not set up for the sync immediately feature, um, which what that means is that the data will be fetched from the web store into the ERP, but I will have to go in and uh, manually do that process to fulfill that specific order. And now I migrate over to the inventory settings tab. And this is where all our product 
information and availability is controlled between the two systems flowing back and forth. Uh, you can actually see here that I can have my default availability on the site says available is to track the quantity. Um, just set it as available. I can set it to pre-order if my inventory is low or I can disable the product if um, I'm, I'm out of inventory for whatever particular reason. Again, when the quantity is unavailable, I can completely disable that product on the site. I can set it to pre-order um, so customers know what they're getting themselves into or I can do nothing at all if I desired. And then availability, I can have items listed as available, available to ship, um, just as listed as available, and I can have it set up to pick up in store as well. And one of the interesting things that Acumatica actually does here is that I can actually pull inventory from specific warehouses. So it can be configured in a way where um, the specific warehouse that the inventory would get pulled from would be, say, from the closest one to the customer to cut down on shipping times and costs to get those packages to those to that customer as quickly as possible. So everything that we have currently taken a look at is all on the back end with relation to Acumatica. And now we're going to take a look at the front end, which is big with big commerce and what users will actually see. Um, so this is an example of a website just using a standard template with big commerce. And this is a, an example of a site electronics company. And so we're going to actually scroll down and click on one of these pictures here of a camera. Um, and as you can see, once I click into the camera, there's a lot of different product information that has become available to me, um, such as the price, the SKU, um, the different images that exist of the camera, and the description itself. All that information has actually been uploaded into the ERP and is being pulled to your, the big commerce web store. The only thing on here that is not actually stored in the ERP is the reviews tab, which is stored directly on the site itself. And that's just a great resource to have for potential customers to see what others are saying about products. Um, and as you can also see it, it, right now, it, this item is the inventory quantity is set available to track. And that's just a personal preference thing. That's just kind of highlighting the functionality in this case that it's doable. Um, inventory can be set for specific items. So if you want just only a few of your items to have the available inventory listed, uh, you can do that and not have it for all items. And of course, you can set this item to pre-order if you know the inventory total is, is low. So we're going to add that camera to our cart. And that camera is a great example of just a, an item with one SKU. Um, but a t-shirt is a great example of a product with multiple variants. And so there's a multitude of sizes and colors for this particular t-shirt. And in this particular case, there's up to 20 different combinations that exist. With Acumatica, you actually have matrix inventory capabilities where you set up in the ERP the different shirt sizes and color options. And that information is then pulled into the uh, big commerce where this page is created for you. So I'm going to go ahead and add this t-shirt to my cart as well. Um, and once I've done that, I'm going to go to the checkout process. And as you can see from the order summary here, you can see my two different items in my cart. Um, one of the very nice, convenient features that Acumatica has is that it'll, and, and Big Commerce is that it'll allow you to check out as a guest, which is something that's very beneficial to customers, as not every customer is going to want to create an account on your site just to purchase something. Um, but in this particular case, I'm going to actually sign in because I want to de demonstrate the customer specific pricing capabilities that the two systems have with one another. And so now you can see reflected in my order summary that I've actually received a $200 discount on that specific Nikon camera. And then the t-shirt price has actually stayed the same. Um, but that information is all again stored in the ERP and gets communicated to the big commerce web store. You can see since I signed in, I have all of this, all of my shipping information has been pre-populated for me. So I don't have to rekey any of that information. And you can also see uh, that there are a lot of different checkout options for shipping, which is again, critical 
in this day and age. And finally, I have a bunch of different payment choices that I can select from, whether that's to pay right now with the card, uh, to be invoiced if I want, maybe I want to use PayPal, uh, maybe I want to pay, I'm going to go pick up in store and I want to pick up and pay them. Uh, so all of that functionality exists between Acumatica and BigCommerce. Now we're going to take a look at a case study. Uh, Firewire Surfboards is the leading surfboard manufacturer in the world, and it's based out of Carlsbad, California. Um, they also have operations, though, in the UK, Australia, and Thailand. They use their old ERP uh, when they were just more of a startup as a, for database purposes and basic transaction processing. Um, Firewire Surfboards is actually owned by Kelly Slater, who is probably the most successful and famous surfer on earth. But some of the problems they were having with their old system is that they were lacking any visibility into financials and analysis. And they're having to spend a lot of time each month manually creating reports to get that visibility. Uh, the user interface had become extremely archaic. There weren't many updates to the system. They had to host their servers on premise, which was becoming quite costly. Um, and the ERP gave them no functionality to be able to have a web store to directly target their customer base. And their salespeople couldn't readily access any pertinent sales information to see which products were having high inventory turnovers or which ones were struggling um, with lower turnovers. So some of the key benefits that they did receive by making the switch to Acumatica was gaining a modern business suite for financials with transparency into operations, finance, and inventory. Uh, they were able to recoup days wasted every month by having reports be automated for them and not having to waste their own time and being able to do that every month. Um, Acumatica is born in the cloud, so gone are those costly server updates and being having to host on-premise all the time. They had they gained the benefit of having unlimited users um, so as to not be a barrier for future growth and having to add for each additional user to the system. And then they gained the big commerce native connector, which helped them grow their business by it being able to implement a web store and directly target their consumers. And they also gained more functionality with integrations to other best of breed third party um, independent software vendors in the Acumatica community. To summarize today's webinar, we took a look at some of the benefits of having an integrated web store and what that can mean for your business. We gave a, an overview of Acumatica and Big Commerce and the functionality that exists between the two systems. And then finally, we saw a case study of Firewire Surfboards and how they were able to grow their business by implementing the native connector to Big Commerce with Acumatica. Next week, we're going to take a look at the Acumatica toolkit, specifically in regards to warehouse management, EDI, and some of the leading independent software vendors in the Acumatica community. Uh, please be sure to attend as this will be a great way to get a feel for even more functionality of Acumatica itself. Thank you so much for your time this morning. My contact information is on screen. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions would like to know more information or would like to request a demo. Um, thank you so much again for taking the time. We will be meeting again at the same time at the same link next week. I hope to see you all there.